now we come to how important the dimensions are and how important the units are that measure these dimensions and of course the uh, measurement of other items whatever may be involved like whether it is time mass weight volume so on any physical quantity can be characterized by dimensions the magnitude assigned to the dimensions are called units so they are very important which units we are considering and uh, well we see different cases that that are in use for centuries some basic dimensions such as mass length and time mass is normally denoted with m length with l and time with small t and while the capital the, the temperature is normally denoted by capital t they are selected as primary fundamental dimensions in a physical fluid flow uh, while condition well such parameters or functions that are that are derived with the combination of these basic dimensions length and mass length and time and so on such as velocity velocity is the ratio of the distance covered in time that is the total if the total distance is x which is some length we divide it by t we get velocity so velocity is derived from length and time so therefore we call it they are dependent on the uh, fundamental and these one will not be uh, fundamental dimensions for the velocity similarly for energy similarly for volume and they are expressed in terms of primary dimensions and are called secondary dimension or derived dimensions a number of unit systems have been developed over the years despite despite strong efforts in the scientific community and engineering community to unify the world with a single unit system only two sets are used in common but the world has not agreed or in practice we don't have one single uh, system that is universally that has been accepted or that is acceptable for some unknown reason some countries keep using different uh, units uh, you may be familiar with them but we mention as under the english system which is also known as the united states customary system and the metric si the system which is known as si system uh, they are international systems the si is a simple and logical system based on a decimal relationship between the various units and it is being used by uh, for scientific and engineering work in most of the industrialization even in including england but uh, you may be familiar that in si system uh, which was invented initially by france and then it is accepted in most of the scientific community but not the worldwide still in many countries the other system is being used which was developed by british the english system however has no apparent systematic numerical base and uh, various units in this system are related to each other in an arbitrary manner for example 12 inches make 1 feet 1 mile is equal to 5280 feet and similar and so on and similarly if we go to 
the weight side, the mass side, that also is of the same nature. That in that case, you have uh, pound and uh, um, sterling and so on, but they have no basis. But in SI system, they are uh, rather simple to use, easier to understand. Uh, centimeters, meter, for similarly the weight, gram, kilogram and so on, you can see that they are easily transferable, convertible, is equal to, easy to calculate and so on. The United States is the only industrialized country that has not fully converted to the metric system. Metric system again refer to the one that was invented by French and uh, known as SI system.